If you follow the WPTV Facebook page this weekend, you may have seen some Facebook lives of Big Dog Ranch Rescue evacuating dogs. WPTV News Channel 5's T.A. Walker traveled to Nassau for a first-hand look. Yeah, we're at the Sandals in Nassau, and Nassau is where Big Dog Ranch Rescue chose to choose as their base of operations for this evacuation because it really has all the infrastructure still intact. There really isn't any damage here after the storm, and so that really helps services the other islands. Big Dog Ranch Rescue organizing logistics from South Florida to volunteers in the Bahamas. A 240-foot super yacht called the MY Laurel arriving to take dogs on board to bring them to Florida. The crew loaded dogs by using a dinghy as a bridge. The goal is to make room in the Bahamas Humane Society for injured, lost, or abandoned dogs coming into Nassau from the island's hardest hit by Hurricane Dorian. The organized chaos had volunteers scrambling. I don't know where I'm going, though. Under pressure to get the dogs to the port before sundown for security reasons. Saturday, the charity sent crates and emergency animal supplies to Nassau via cargo plane. The dogs were loaded onto trucks, given ice, and driven to a yacht a few miles away. Oh, well, no, I'm getting these dogs are going to make us very happy. These guys are going to the States, to, to new homes, to freedom, uh, to they're going to sleep on people's beds. The yacht is slated to drop off food and supplies for animals in Freeport today, and the dogs are scheduled to arrive in Riviera Beach around 6 tomorrow morning. So that yacht left Nassau on Saturday night, went to Freeport on Sunday to drop off emergency medical supplies and food for animals, and then is expected to arrive in Riviera Beach this morning. I'm T.A. Walker for WPTV. News Channel 5. We've heard from so many of you already asking how you can adopt the dogs. Big Dog Ranch says there is a mandatory quarantine period and then they're going to be nursed back to health. The organization does point out, though, if you adopt one of the 500 dogs they have now, you'll be making room for the Bahamian dogs.